at the amazing Wembley Stadium. Today's Wicked will be full of glamorously dressed sportsmen and women who are all battling it out for the Deaf Sports Personality of the Year Awards. Here's a taste of what to expect. This place will be full with 900 people, all eager to know who has won the prestigious award, Sports Personality of the Year. There's one problem. My date isn't here. She's late. Looks really good. It's like the BBC Sports Awards. Finally, there's something similar for deaf people. It's full of anticipation and excitement. It's about to start. What's the first category? How does someone become brilliant at their sport? Generally, it's through their coach. It's coach of the year. Now all eyes are on the coaches, who are all nervous about who will be picked. my father. He's a good role model. He began coaching, then became a manager, and now is president of his team. His achievements inspired me to become a coach. Really, my commitment to St John's comes very easily. They make me enthusiastic and motivated. It's like they're all my boys. skill you're born with? Well, it's 50-50 really. You can be born with skills such as agility, but we can train that as well. However, a tactical brain and handling the racket can all be learnt through training. I've been nominated is because I'm the first deaf woman to obtain the FA Level 3 UA for B coaching licence. When I first started coaching, I coached a young child. Over a period of six or seven years, I saw how coaching could develop their potential. For me, that's so positive. Congratulations. I'm really shocked to be honest. I'm honoured. I never thought I would win such a fantastic award. I'm so proud of my girls. My girls work so hard in training. I'm proud of you all. You're amazing girls. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations! You're the first deaf woman to get your Level 3 coaching qualification. This award isn't about me being the first. It's about me coaching children, deaf children and children with various disabilities. I really enjoy that, inspiring them through sport. When I found out I was the first, I was shocked. I told my family that I was the first deaf woman. It's spread through word of mouth since and it's really touching. 
Fantastic. What's your plans after winning this award? I want to excel and get better. Maybe by getting my A license. I can visualise myself supporting the GB and England teams. Not at the current moment, but maybe in the future. At the moment, I'm passionate about coaching children because they are the future. Perhaps I'll coach them and develop their future potential. You never know. Maybe one day you'll coach my daughter. I'd love to. That'd be brilliant. Well done. I'm pleased for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Bye. You're going to buy me a drink? Come on then. 